I'm going to talk about the packing efficiency in simple cubic lattice. The atoms are located only at the corners of the cube. The particles touch each other along the edges. So the edge length or side of the cube A and the radius of each particle R is related as A is equal to 2 into R. So the volume of the cubic unit cell A cube is equal to 2R power 3 which is equal to 8R cube. So a simple cubic unit cell contains only one atom. So the volume of the occupied space is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now I got the packing efficiency as a volume of one atom divided by volume of cubic unit cell into 100 percent. So cancelling r cube and r cube. So 4 by 2 pi r cube divided by 8 r cube into 100. So cancelling r cube r cube you will be getting this one. Replacing your pi with 3.14 you got it, this one. Solving it you got 0 0.5233 into 100 percent. That's the total value is 52 percent. We may conclude that the CCP and HCP structure got a maximum packing efficiency. From the unit cell dimensions it is possible to calculate the volume of the unit cell. Knowing the density of the metal we can calculate the mass of the atoms in the unit cell. The determination of a mass of a single atom gives an accurate method or determination of Avogadro's constant. Suppose the edge length of a unit cell of a cubic crystal determined by X-ray diffraction is A, D is the density of the solid substance and M is the molar mass. In that case, for the cubic crystal, the volume of a unit cell is equal to A power 3. A cube. So mass of the unit cell is equal to number of atoms in the unit cell into mass of each atom. So Z into M. That's the formulation. So as indicated the mass of atom present in the unit cell can be calculated using M divided by N A. So M is the molar mass. So density is equal to mass of unit cell divided by volume of unit cell. Is it into m divided by a cube? Replacing your m with this one, you got is it into m divided by a cube into n a. So the density is given by is it m a cube n a. So the density of unit cell is the same as the density of the substance. The density of the solid can always be determined by other methods. Out of the five parameters, if any four are known, we are able to identify the fifth parameter. It's easy.